Hi moms, we're back here to tackle those few issues you have with your infants. I'm Dr. Nihar Parekh and this is Dr. Pankaj Parekh. Hello. And today we're going to talk about a very common problem that every mother, very commonly 80% of the mothers face with their newborn child, jaundice. Jaundice, that is yellowing of the eyes, yellowing of the skin of your newborn, is a very, very common occurrence. Happens in 80% of the children, like I mentioned earlier. Jaundice happening within first 24 hours of birth is a problem, a pathological problem. Not that common. But the one happening after 24 hours is the very commonly occurring one and is not much of a worry. This jaundice starts when the mothers first realize that the baby is looking yellow, skin's looking yellow, the eyes are turning yellow. The urine is also very dark yellow. And this is the time they rush to the doctor. This jaundice that happens after 24 hours, on the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh day, is because of few reasons. Number one, ABO incompatibility, blood group incompatibility between the mother, between the mother's blood group and the child's blood group. Very common. It can exaggerate the jaundice. It can make the baby more yellow. It can make the baby lethargic. Second common cause can be underfeeding. It can exaggerate the jaundice as well. And certain sicknesses can make it worse as well. We like Dr. Pankaj Parekh to further throw some light on this jaundice and how it should be managed and monitored. Most of the time, jaundice does not need any treatment. As Dr. Nihar said, it can be physiological jaundice seen in more than 80% of the newborn babies. Jaundice usually starts from head and goes towards the feet. If the baby is yellow up to the thigh or the lower abdomen, it requires monitoring. We need to do a blood report to find out how much is the jaundice. Depending on the weight of the baby, the maturity of the baby, and the level of jaundice, we decide the treatment. But the commonest treatment given is light. Now, there are two ways you can give light. If the jaundice is serious more, then you require to give a blue light for which usually needs hospitalization, where they give blue light to the newborn baby from above and below. We call this a double surface phototherapy. During this therapy, you require to cover the eye and the genitals. This should require to be monitored with frequent blood sampling every 8 to 12 hours. If the jaundice is not very high, mild, then even simple sunlight is good enough to take care of jaundice. It destroys that yellow pigment in the skin. We call it a photodegradation. This sunlight usually is given in the early morning hours, say from 8 to 10. Here also we cover the genitals and the eyes. But very important, that light should directly fall on the baby's skin a light coming through even simple glass window is not effective. The pollution in the air definitely has adverse effect. But this sunlight is very effective in children whose jaundice is not very severe. So take home message for all you moms. Do not panic with the jaundice. Very natural occurrence. Again, reiterating the fact that it happens in 80% of the newborn children. Exaggerated physiological jaundice, worsened by underfeeding, sickness, and a mismatch between the mother's and the baby's blood group. Very commonly detectable, very commonly treatable. But keep a watch for it so you can take your baby to the right pediatrician at the right time. Tune into our channel child and you for tips and guidance to raise a healthy child. Live now, live healthy, only with Shushruta. For any queries, you can write into us on 
और व्हाट्सएप पर्सन